The way that I just trip over my words is crazy. Um, my mom is calling me. She never fails to call me when I'm filming. <laughs> then we're gonna do a white tea, which I don't have on me right now. I think it's in the hamper. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Jenna and I'm so glad that you're joining me. I normally do not film to like outfit in small hauls this close to when I just did my most recent one, but I think the excitement for this transitional weather and going into fall is really just like igniting the passion in me. And so I have a whole nother haul of outfits to show you guys. These are very tailored toward like the European side of my style. So very minimal, very functional and just a lot of neutrals. So if you guys like those types of outfits then definitely stick around. And if you're not subscribed already, then I hope you will. So I'm gonna start with the outfit that I'm wearing right now just cause I have it on. Um, this bodysuit is new in from Lovers and Friends. We have a little mock neck, some puff sleeves and it's a thong back just so you guys know. We don't like having underwear lines and it just fits so well. I have it in an extra small and then I'm wearing black Zara trousers on the bottom. I love an all black look for fall and winter. You guys, if you've been on my channel, you know that. And this is like the first one of the season. So I'm really excited to share this one with you guys. I also paired this with my Veja sneakers, making sure I'm saying that right. Cause you guys know me, I can know the correct pronunciation and then continue to say it wrong. So I went with the Vejas because see, oh my gosh, I just did it. I went with the Vejas because I wanted to brighten it up a little bit. Normally when I wear all black, I don't tend to go for a black shoe. I was also wearing a black bag with this outfit, so I wanted to just make it a little bit brighter and the Vejas do a really good job with that. But this is just like the dreamiest like workwear outfit. But I think also because style has gotten so casual, it's like this outfit would be viewed as like fancy for a daytime outfit, but I think it's really comfortable, looks super elevated, but it's not something that's like you're wearing workwear, if that makes sense. Like I will definitely be wearing this to work. Um, depends on like your dress code and stuff. I'm just gonna pull my necklace out because I need to. <laughs> um, depending on like what your office requires, but I feel like a lot of places are getting more casual. So this is definitely a really good option to wear to work. And I will probably style this up on my Instagram once it gets a little bit colder out because it is getting a lot nicer. And I say nicer, some people like love the summer and they love the summer weather. I'm more of like a chilly mornings kind of girl. So that's why I'm saying the weather is getting nicer. And I would definitely wear something like this like day to day. So started off with this one because you guys know I love an all black look and it's just the quintessential like minimal elevated chic kind of look. So then the next one we have here, I have my Anina Bing crew neck, which I actually realized that the sticker has been on this for the entire time that I've been wearing it. Like I kept the tag on, I don't know if you guys are like that, but I'm so weird. Like I will buy something and then wear it five times and it still has the tag on it. I don't know what it is. It just takes me forever to like get around to ripping it off. But anyway, I have a cream crew neck. This is gonna be the foundation of this outfit. And then we're gonna layer on top of it. That's like one of my favorite things to do during this weather, especially when you don't know like if it's gonna be freezing in the morning and then you have to like take your jacket off later. So I love layering and I also love like the textures and the dimensions that it gives to an outfit. So then over the top of that, we're gonna go with a nice classic blazer. This one is from Zara and it's probably three years old or four years old, I think it's three years old, but they still sell this exact same one. So I can link this one for you guys. I'm gonna link all of the things that I can and then anything that I can't find, I'll link something similar. Um, so the blazer over the top of that and then just leggings on the bottom that I have here so it's kind of like going for one of those casual looks and then dressing it up with a blazer i think that's a really cool idea and i just used my third love leggings these are my favorite ones of all time i just got a pair of gymshark leggings the other day so i'm going to test those out and see how i like them but the third love ones just fit super well they're really high-waisted and they're just really comfy for a look like this and then shoes on the bottom i went with high socks and converse just because I love a high sock, especially going into these months, like you don't want your ankles to be out when it gets super cold out. So definitely get your crew socks now. I have so many pairs of them. I think I bought a pair of a pack of five and then I bought some other like just ankle socks that you don't have to scrunch down. And I think I have five of those. So 
yeah, the collection's getting a little bit out of control, but that's just what I do here. <laughs> um, so yeah, that outfit is more so just something a little bit more casual, but then you can throw on something chic over the top of it and really be comfortable, but look super elevated. I feel like that's the theme of this entire haul. So we're gonna move on to another outfit that I kind of just like threw together. And I have a little sweater dress here from LPA. This is the best knit dress I could find. And obviously I didn't know that until I tried it on, but this was my first time wearing it for this cutaway. And it's amazing. The thing that I love about it is I think the bow is supposed to be tied in the front, but I tied it in the back. And because I did that, it just makes such a nice defined waistline. And it looks really, really chic because a lot of the time when you wear sweater materials and like knit materials like this in a dress, it can make you look bigger than you are. So I love that this one has that tie waist so that you can really define your waist and people can like see what your body actually looks like. And also it has a slit on the side. So you're still getting um, some skin showing because it's not gonna be that cold out yet. So you can do that. And then I threw on a pair of New Balance sneakers with this just because I wanted to dress it down a little bit. And again, like when I do go for the all black looks I like to brighten it up a little bit in some regard whether that's like wearing a white bag or wearing a white pair of sneakers or like any other type of shoe I just like the color combination together especially since the sneakers are a little bit more of like that beige tone so absolutely love this one I highly recommend it it has this like crew neck line which is really flattering the sleeves I'm just warning you guys have these little holes in them like thumb holes I probably won't wear that unless I'm like going to put a jacket on and these are super convenient to have but I just rolled the cuff up so that they just don't show. And I mean, you can wear it either way, which is good because it's a little bit more versatile that way. Okay, so moving on to look number four, we are gonna go back to the black Zara blazer that I showed you guys before. And this is like a nice oversized look for me, which I love during fall and winter. I like the fact that everything just looks huge i don't know um don't get me wrong i do like balancing sometimes with wearing like something super flowy on the bottom and like tight on the top but there's just something and i don't know why it seems like it would be sloppier if you had both pieces oversized but i just think it looks really cool so i'm gonna use a black t-shirt underneath that this one is from h&m they have like really good boxy t-shirts so i'll link something that's similar to this just because it's really good to have in your wardrobe all year round. Again, like I'm using this as a layering piece with a blazer, but you'll probably wear it under cardigans and things when it gets a little chillier out. And in the summertime, like tucked into a pair of denim shorts, like, I mean, it's a black t-shirt, you guys get the gist. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna be the base. I saw someone wearing this outfit the other day when I was in West Village. I was at Cafe Kutsune and I saw her outfit and I was like, I need to recreate that. And that's the most amazing thing about New York City is you have outfit inspiration everywhere you go. And it was this black t-shirt, black blazer, and then straight leg light wash denim. I used these a lot in my last styling video and I'm just obsessed with these jeans in general. They were actually, fun fact, my first pair of wide leg jeans. Never thought that I would be buying them. I thought I was gonna like wear skinny jeans until I died, um, but we got wide leg jeans. So here they are again, absolutely love them. And I also like that this is like a lighter wash still. I feel like when winter comes around, everyone just like assumes that they need to wear like all dark colors, but I think light denim is a really good way to mix in something that's a little bit brighter, especially when like the weather is gonna be like freezing and kind of gloom and doom. For a better part of the year, it's just nice to like kind of brighten up an outfit a little bit and light wash denim is a perfect way to be able to do that. And then shoes on the bottom of this one, I did the Vejas again because I, just love the way that that sneaker looks. It's super minimal. And I feel like because it's a leather sneaker, it dresses up an outfit really nicely and it doesn't make it look too fancy, but it's also like a nicer sneaker. Anytime any of my friends or people on Instagram ask me for a recommendation of like a work sneaker for like casual Fridays, or if they can wear something that's a little bit more, you know, dressed down, then I always recommend a Veja sneaker. and. Net-a-Porte has them stocked all the time. I actually have to buy myself a new pair because I'm wearing them right now and they're gross. So <laughs> I've had them for like three years though. And that's crazy to say. Like I can't believe how like my wardrobe has changed into being a capsule collection. And a lot of the stuff that I have in 
my closet is like super old and that to me is like the ultimate goal is when you have stuff like for years and years because we don't want to be wasteful and we want to look chic while being sustainable so capsule wardrobes are the perfect way to do that and all of the pieces that i'm showing you guys are staple pieces so don't feel guilty if you want to pick them up because these are like really good basics that you should have and it's a good way to kind of like breathe new life into your wardrobe that you already have so went off on a little bit of a rant there but typical for me i am gonna show you guys the last look and where is the t-shirt this is kind of like the um downside of me not using my clothing rack because i can't find anything <laughs> um but we have the same black t-shirt as before and the black leggings that i wore with the black blazer so i mean you guys noticed this in my last styling video if you watched it that i just like mixing and matching pieces in my wardrobe and this is like obviously you're seeing it right now so black t-shirt black leggings and then i went with a trench over the top of it i feel like i didn't wear this enough last year and it was because i styled it with my raspberry pink set active set and it did look really cool for like that day but at the same time i was like wait this like these colors are just like not me and i feel like it turned me off of the trench which was so sad because it's such a good classic piece to have in your wardrobe and i'm actually gonna add on a, another outfit with this trench right after this one so we have the trench over the top of it, it kind of like breaks up the black in the outfit and then also i wore crew socks with this one to break up the black and kind of like make it a little bit brighter you guys can see a theme here and then black converse because those are like my favorite shoes to wear with a crew sock because they are like a little bit higher up on your ankle and then you have the crew sock still popping out of it which i think looks really cool and just like very effortless and street um my mom is calling me she never fails to call me when i'm filming <laughs> but she's gonna have to wait one more minute because i just thought of another outfit that i want to show you guys and it's because I want to like share more ways to style a trench. If you guys want me to do any styling videos based on like one piece of like any of the stuff that I have here or something you guys can think about, definitely ask me in the comments below because I love doing like versatility videos like that where I can show you guys how to style one piece in so many different ways. But we're going to start with the same light wash denim. I love that these are going to be like the oversized and oversized like... You guys know what I mean. Like the trench is oversized and the jeans are oversized. Then we're gonna do a white tee, which I don't have on me right now. I think it's in the hamper. And then the trench over the top of it. I love denim with a trench coat. I think that it just dresses it up a little bit more. So you guys saw like the contrast of the outfit that I just showed you before this, that it's like more of a workout, like on the go look, but this is gonna be something that's a little bit more dressy because you have the denim in there. And then the white tee, I just think looks nice. This is like yin yin yang. This is like yin, this is, why can't I say yin and yang? This is like yin and yang of how to style a trench coat because the other outfit was super dark as a base and now we have like very light pieces and I can't even decide like which one I like better. So on the bottom of this, we're gonna do the same black high top converse because I like that they're gonna kind of add like a darker element to the outfit. Same thing like when I go super dark, I like to add a light element. And then if everything is super light, then I like to go dark on the accessories. So that is the final outfit. I feel like I just ran through these super quick with you guys, but if you have any questions about how to style things or about like sizing and things of everything that I have mentioned, then definitely let me know in the comments. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. I have a ton of styling videos that are gonna be coming on my channel. And I feel like I kind of like started vlogging a ton and wasn't really doing styling videos, but you guys know that this is like my favorite time of the year. So we're getting all the styling videos going and I will have a ton more of these plus vlogs and like all the lifestyle content. I'm also moving this month. So we will have like apartment tour, empty apartment tour, um, like all that fun stuff, like home hauls and things like that. Cause I'm gonna have to pick up a lot of new stuff. So really exciting things coming on my channel and I want you guys to be a part of it. So make sure you subscribe and thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in my next one.